New at 9, Washita Parish residents will soon have a new fire station to answer the call in the event of a fire emergency north of West Monroe off in the Whites Ferry area. Fox 14's Chelsea Jones is back from tonight's Washita Parish Police Jury where everything was approved. Chelsea, what kind of problem was this before and what are residents saying? Well, it's not that there's a huge issue beforehand. The fire chief says that the department wanted to improve their response time in that area. Residents tell me they support the decision and for the most part, they've not been negatively impacted. It's just another day in the neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood. We don't have any crimes. LaHonda Littleton and her husband have lived in this home, nestled off of Whites Ferry Road in Washita Parish, for almost 20 years. And she says if there were ever a fire, she wouldn't want to lose her quilts, her pictures, or any of the memories she's made in this home. We are out of the way of the West Monroe fire trucks. And this is a large neighborhood. This is the West Monroe District 3 fire station, and Miss Littleton lives about five miles in this direction. Now, the closest Paris fire station is on Wallace Road, which is several miles in the opposite direction. Built in 1965, the Wallace Road fire station has serviced neighborhoods like this one for decades. Fire Chief Patrick Hemphill says, with all of the growth in the area, it was time for a change, which is why there's a need for a new fire station. That will help get us a better response time in that immediate area, but it'll not only help those people that live in that vicinity, it'll help uh, jurisdiction wide. The new location will be off of Wall Williams and Whites Ferry Road. But what about the green? I just wondered if they were going to raise our taxes to help pay for it, or if there were other means of um, taking care of it. We've already saved the money. So we got the money waiting on us. The new station comes with an estimated $1.2 million price tag. If there should be a fire, we would need a fire equipment fairly quickly. And now that call has been answered. Chief Hemphill says he would like to have the new station up and running by the end of the year. He says there is currently no need for additional personnel. Live in the studio, Chelsea Jones, Fox 14 News.